Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover what are mixed numbers, and we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now, mixed numbers are whole numbers and a proper fraction together, so a whole number plus a proper fraction, and they help us represent values in between whole numbers. So let's jump right into number one here and see what I'm talking about. So like I mentioned, we have a whole number and a proper fraction. So we have one and four fifths. And this particular mixed number represents a value in between one whole and two holes. So let's model this mixed number and then also place it on a number line in order to help us visualize and really understand what mixed numbers are. And we'll start with the model. So we need one whole and let me back up here. I have two rectangles here, so this is where we are going to model. So we need one whole rectangle filled in to represent that one whole. So let's fill in one whole rectangle. Now I filled in five fifths there. Each rectangle is cut into fifths. I had one, two, three, four, five sections out of five sections filled in. So that also can be written as five fifths which is equivalent to one whole. Now we need to represent the four fifths. So this would be one and one fifth, one and two fifths, one and three fifths, and then one and four fifths. So there is our model. And again, this is a value that is in between one whole and two holes. You'll notice that we almost have two holes there, but not quite. So let's place this mixed number on a number line next. So we'll start by finding one whole, which is right here. Then we need the four fifths. So this would be one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, and four fifths. So we would place one and four fifths right here. And again, you'll notice that we are in between two whole numbers, one and two. Now I do want to mention that mixed numbers can also be expressed as improper fractions. And an improper fraction is a fraction where the top number, the numerator, is greater than the bottom number, the denominator. Uh, mixed numbers and improper fractions are equivalent. They can represent the same value. It's just two different ways to write out that value. So for example, number one, one and four fifths is actually equivalent to 9 fifths. So we could take a look at our model and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 fifths filled in. So we can see that 1 and 4 fifths is equivalent to 9 fifths. Now there's another way to convert between mixed numbers and improper fractions, but that's a topic for another video. I'll drop other links to improper fractions and other fraction topics down in the description. So let's move on to number two, where we have three and three fourths. So again, a mixed number, we have a whole number plus a proper fraction. So let's model this first, and we first need to fill in three holes. So we'll use circles this time. So three whole circles to represent the whole number. And then the proper fraction portion, we have three fourths. So one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths. So that would be three and three fourths modeled there using um, whole circles. And then our proper fraction portion, three fourths. So over to the number line where we uh, need to start with the three holes. So three holes is right here, and we need to go three fourths now. So this would be one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths. So we would land right here, and that would represent three and three fourths. So you can see that three and three fourths represents a value in between two whole numbers, three and four. Now, 3 and 3 fourths as an improper fraction, let's write that out, is going to be, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 fourths there. 
4 fourths here, 4 fourths here, and then 3 fourths. So 4, 8, 12, 15 fourths. So we have 15 fourths filled in. So again, those are equivalent. Mixed number 3 and 3 fourths equals 15 fourths. Uh, just two different ways to represent a value. Mixed numbers and improper fractions um, hold the same value. Again, just two different ways to represent a value. So there you have it. There's an introduction to mixed numbers. And like I mentioned earlier, I do have other fraction videos that go off of this video. I dropped all of those links down in the description. So I hope this helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.